I'm speaking with Dr. Heather Johnson, a cardiologist at the University of Wisconsin, who's just presented some uh, very interesting findings regarding underdiagnosis of hypertension in young adults who are regularly seeing primary care physicians. Uh, tell us more. Thank you very much. So what we evaluated was that we tried to address the low hypertension or low high blood pressure diagnosis rates in the young adult population. The purpose of the study was really to address the public health burden in the United States of the rising rates of high blood pressure associated with the rising rates of obesity. And what we realized that after at least two years of follow-up, the majority of young adults ages 18 to 39 years old remained undiagnosed as far as their high blood pressure. They had presented multiple times to primary care clinics with elevated blood pressures, met guideline criteria for a high blood pressure diagnosis, and unfortunately the majority remained undiagnosed over time. We did see that the actual time to diagnosis did not vary significantly between age groups. However, when looking at the reasons behind the high rate of undiagnosis, we realized that there were multiple factors that contributed to this, including patient characteristics, provider characteristics, and healthcare system issues. As far as patient characteristics, patients who uh, were, uh, number one, the youngest of the age groups, number two, patients who were actually of white race and ethnicity were less likely to be diagnosed. A positive finding is that patients who had diabetes, another critical risk factor for increased uh, heart disease, they were more likely to be diagnosed. An interesting provider issue is that female providers were more likely to diagnose high blood pressure in young adults than male providers. A concern is that patients who were less likely to speak English as their primary language at home were less likely to be diagnosed. So we have a lot of different issues to address as far as improving diagnosis rates among young adults. When you talk to the primary care physicians, uh, what's their explanation when you show them these data? One of the next steps is to have uh, discussions and open forums with primary care providers and begin to learn as far as all the different aspects, provider, primary care provider issues, overall health care system issues, and to also talk with patients in the future. Okay, well thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.